Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 36 of Direwolf20's Age of Engineering series. What is going on, everybody? I, um, between episodes, have been a little bit busy. Let's set you to always run again, which should start doing this. Nice! Cool. Uh, I set up a few things between episodes, um, specifically um, auto-processing some stuff and things. So what we've got here um, is a little bit of a more cleaned up system. As you can see, I did some facades and prettying up with some of the stuff. Um, basically, we've got um, extraction chamber here, getting cobblestone. Uh, any ores that it, or any uh, circuits that I get goes in here, automatically gets processed, automatically gets analyzed. Um, and then in here is where all the circuits go. And in here is where all the stuff that the analyzer, like the excess outputs, gets dumped. Um, so there's like a weird bug with the way these um, storage chambers store the circuits and piping items into them doesn't really work so hot. Um, as a result, your best bet is to um, pipe them into like a, 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 a little thing here um, and, uh, and then manually move them. Which kind of stinks. Like I, I've just been doing this, right? Like not all the time. Like I let I let this guy run for a while. Obviously, you can also see we have a bunch of upgrades installed. So I got 15 energy and 15 speed upgrades in there. When you go from 15 to 16 speed upgrades, it like stupidly increases the cost of power, like to the point where it's insane. Um, so this machine, which like is kind of running all the time, um, ish, mm -hmm. is is something you know, you know that that we're gonna keep an eye on, but. These guys, like precision chambers, sitting around 14 speeds, and they're pretty straightforward to get once you've gotten a lot of these guys. Like, it's just speed or energy modules, and it helps out. It's, like, weird if you keep putting speed energy and in, in, uh, upgrades into these things and not energy modules. You get to a point where, like, it just stuck and doesn't process. So I don't know if that's a bug or intended, but, like, by throwing energy modules in there along with the speed upgrades, it's, like, allowed to run again. I'm guessing it's, like, using a little bit more power than it can. I, uh, it's, it's it's a little bit unstable. Uh, this calculator mod, there's a couple little bugs in it. Like, it's it works, but there's definitely a few bugs in the mod. It's, it's not perfect right now, and I think the mod developer's busy with some real-life stuff, so he's not available to, like, fix these things. But they're all minor inconveniences, frankly. It's all running pretty smoothly. Um, so with that said, let's look at the guide for Age of Engineering. So we completed the Atomic Age, right? Like we've gotten to the point now where we've got all kinds of good stuff. Um, we've 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 got the Atomic Calculator and that kind of stuff. We didn't make a flawless calculator yet because that looked like a lot of crafting steps, which we might look at getting into. Um, we could look at the calculator locator with plugs at some point, but we need a lot of plutonium for that. Um, I've been letting my um, nuclear reactors just run and run and run and run and run. Um, and I've been replacing their fuel rods every time they run low. We're currently at the point where we've got almost two stacks of tiny piles of plutonium, which is, you know, decent. Um, and, and we've got a decent amount of mass as well, over three buckets, which is kind of a lot of yeast matter. So that's cool. But what I'd really like to look at is the next age, which is the new age. Uh, with mica and diamonds, you can now make neotech machines, which basically enables you to triple your ores for a lot of RF. You need these three machines to set up that uh, yada, yada, yada. With the thermal binder, you can also make very powerful tools and armors. Now you can make the quantum quarry from X Utilities 2, which has the advantage of never having to move and using cell touch or fortune in it. So we could set up a quantum quarry. Um, the other thing that we're able to start up with is applied energistics because the inscriber needs thermal binder. You should really look at your calculator. Circuit production, as every processor in A2 needs those. If you don't have, uh, if you didn't make pure crystals in advance, you can. So in theory, we should be pretty close to being able to get into applied energistics, which is kind of like a place I'd like to focus towards getting to. I'd love to have an AE system up and running. It would definitely help with some automation and some auto crafting, other good stuff. Uh, so that said, let's take a look at what's applied. Uh, so applied energistics will need an inscriber. So let's take a look. Inscriber needs thermal paste somewhere. So we're going to need stable stone, uh, which is simply uh, crafting of reinforced stone brick and basalt. Um, and we'll need reinforced stones times two in a calculator, addition mode for reinforced stone brick. So that doesn't seem terrible. We'll also need thermal binders, which requires silver and mica 
uh, and a machine frame and slime ball. It doesn't seem too bad. How are we on mica? Mica, 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 mica. We've got 21 mica chilling out right now. Let's let you run again. So you can keep piping up some mica for me. Um, this thing, frankly, the void resource miner, the only thing it gets you of any worth is mica. Like, there's all kinds of other stuff in here that's like, yeah, that's nice. But, like, mica, that's what's up. Um, we also need, okay. And then the atomic module, which needs an iridium plate. These we've made before, so we know that's not too bad. But that'll get us inscribers. So thermal binder, like, what? Stabilized ender pearl, end diamond. We do know how to make end diamonds. We did want to make those trees, remember. Um, the atomic calculator can get us end diamond. Electric diamonds. We'll need a conductor mass to get an electric diamond. Okay. Well, that's good to know. Neat. All right, let me take a look and see, because this doesn't look like it's outside my realm of ability to make. So let's consider that. I'm going to be right back. All right, so I've been really proud of myself that... I've gone so long without actually needing to get a blast furnace, and I've just been kind of letting this thing casually run, and I've been refilling it whenever needed, um, and it's been doing a great job. Uh, however, I started looking at um, some of the recipes definitely require end diamonds, uh, and there's two ways to get end diamonds. One way uh, is with the atomic calculator, you get some obsidian and endstone, and you get an electric diamond, which you get by building a conductor mast and you have to place a fire diamond, which is made with an atomic calculator with diamonds and blaze rods and the long process. The other way is um, to make a diamond sapling. And this way requires two end diamonds, so you still gotta go through that process at least twice. But um, once you do so, you get a diamond sapling, which is literally a tree that grows end diamonds. And that's it. And you like hook up a device to it and it just starts pumping out end diamonds like crazy. So diamond sapling's kind of a good idea. The only problem is the only way to make it is in a flawless calculator, which has quite a handful of other recipes as well that we might need to get down the line. So we'll probably need, um, probably need, look at that, controlled fuel, huh? That sounds cool. Uh, we'll probably need a flawless calculator at some point. Um, and I started looking at this, and I'm like, not bad, not bad, not bad. Then I got the flawless calculator assembly. Let's do some quick math. Uh, so first off, we will need advanced assemblies, which require four calculator assemblies, which each need, um, well, so, so that's um, 16 steel. And then we need advanced assemblies, each of which need calculator assemblies, um, which each need 16 steel. So that's another 64. So it's 64 plus 16 for these guys. And then the atomic assembly, which needs four more advanced assemblies, which is basically 64 steel. And then you need atomic modules, which needs calculator assemblies, which is another 64 steel. So we basically need like three and a half stacks of steel, um, which are more than that, actually. We might, we might actually, yeah, need a little bit more. So about three and a half. We don't quite have enough. So, um, and even once I do get that, I'll probably need more steel sooner than later. So I started saying to myself, I think... It's about time uh, we get steel production up and running. So blast furnace, it is. Uh, so for that, we're going to need some slag. Boink, we got slag. Uh, we're gonna need some nether bricks. We're gonna need some blaze powders. And then um, for reinforce, if we wanna upgrade it, um, and I'm sure there's info in here. Is that book, where's that book? I'm gonna need you anyway, and I'm gonna need you. Uh, so, tools and simple machines, this guy, alloys, crude blast furnace, yeah, crude blast furnace, cool, um, and then, heavy machinery, improved blast furnace with gears heavy, okay, cool. Not only is it allow automation in and out, it can also be fitted with creators to speed up the refinement process by addition of hot air. The furnace is made from reinforced bricks, so you'd be advised to spend your first batches of steel on this upgrade. Um, so this thing's totally cool. Um, so it's it's basically a, a three by three of reinforced blast bricks. So we'll need about um, 27 steel hammered up. So we're gonna use some steel uh, to do this and probably a smart way to do it. It'd be like that. Right, and that'll be 27 steel. Cool. So you cut up. Uh, you should be good. So we'll want 
this many. And then we'll want this many. And then I believe uh, that there was a hopper on top. So if we don't have a hopper sitting around, we may, we may not. We do, yay. So let's go put this outside. It's nighttime, so we should sleep. Um, but we're gonna go put this outside, probably near our Coke oven. So for the longest time, I've just been letting Coke go into this thing. And I've finally gotten to the point where I just started putting blocks of coal in there. Um, let's put our first blast furnace. Let's like kind of dig into this wall a little bit and put it behind the Coke oven. Does that sound like kind of a cool plan? Uh, since we're gonna be digging lots of stuff out, not you, you. Cool. Let's organize our inventory here. Uh, so we'll kind of just go straight out from here. This is how I mine. Sweet. Um, and let's go this way. Nice. Beautiful. That's what's up. All right, so that's cool. We could probably, if we really wanted to be like ultra nice about it, clear out some of this above us. Yeah, that looks pretty half decent. I'll probably clean this up a little bit off camera. That works for now. All right, so let's get the blast furnace hooked up out here real quick and just put away all this junk that I picked up. So blast furnace and hoppers will be needed. And I might make a second one if I deem that we need two. Um, but let's plan this out. So like we'll have this and then we'll have the one, two, three, and then we'll have this, um, I think for the, the side things. So this, let's make sure to not do this anymore because that would be really silly of me. This is literally something I should have done back in age two, but like we never really needed to. My uh, steel processing from industrial craft really was just doing just fine. Hey, look, a blast furnace, nice. Beautiful. All right, cool. So that's step one of a blast furnace. The other thing we're going to want to get is uh, the blast furnace preheaters. So we're going to need seven iron sheet metals. We're going to need a full 14 iron sheet metal. So we're going to basically need um, 16 iron plates hammered up, which we might need. Wow, look. <laughs> Perfect. And then we're going to need an external heater, which needs four iron a dozen copper, redstone, and okay, cool. So we're gonna need two Inyori crystals and some LV wire coils. We might have some of those laying around. We have some. Looks like actually just enough. Wow, talk about hitting the lottery today. All right. So you, 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 two of these. We just need some iron. Sweet. Oh, and two redstone. External heater times two, getting an achievement. Nice, blast furnace. So these guys do need power, remember? So they need to get power on the top here. You can see they have an RF input. Uh, what is my power situation in this upstairs E type area? We've got some HV wiring going that way. The other option that I could totally do is how bad were wireless RF dudes? Um, eh, bad enough that I don't feel like making it. Hey, what's this thing doing sitting out here? This is from way back in the day when I made a nuclear reactor, isn't it? Heh, <laughs> whoops. All right, so that's the basics. Just need to get power out there somehow. 
in a less than ugly way. So HV wiring, so we can get you. HV wire connectors would be neat. Um, we could maybe even get some of you and HV wire coils. So if I could find a cohesive way to hook this up, let's do something like this. So like we could do like that. This is a weird structure to stand on just because of the way it does stuff. Cool. And then we could run you like kind of down into that basementy area that I have. Ah, I'm breaking all the things. That's not ideal. Not ideal at all. Well, let's see if I can at least connect you. I can, so that's good at least. Not too bad of a derp. I will 100% have to figure out everything I just destroyed because <laughs> it was probably a lot. <laughs> it's okay. Um, I should probably be replacing a lot of this stuff with this stuff anyway, energy conduits. Like you guys should not all be HV wire connectors. You can be energy conduits at this point. Cool. And then this thing probably connected to this guy. And we'll clean this up, obviously. And by clean this up, I mean, you know, in the broadest sense of the term, clean. Um, so I'm not entirely sure, but you guys might be getting your power. You guys might be okay power-wise. I think you're getting power from somewhere else. So I forget, but we'll find out if I, uh, if I missed anything. But hopefully you're getting power from somewhere. Is that where power? No, that's a lever. Power was hooked into this guy somewhere. Well, we'll see if it starts running out of power and then we'll troubleshoot it. Does that sound fair? All right, so that's cool. So you guys should have power now and we can cover this all up with dirt. Nice. Not the fanciest thing in the world, but it'll do. So let's get a stack each of iron and coal coke. this and that and you should start cooking and that's actually not too long of a process look it's already like you know pretty cool it's pretty quick when you give it the blast furnace heaters so that's nice so we'll pretty quickly get some steel out of that so we'll come back in a minute once that's had a few moments to process and I'm gonna clean up my inventory and make sure I didn't break nothing else so yeah this thing's actually moving pretty nicely I like it so uh, we're killing it so do I want to do a flawless calculator now? I'm thinking, yeah. Um, so to get a flawless calculator, um, we'll need a flawless calculator assembly. So let's get some copper going. We're going to want a lot of stone. We're going to need buttons out the wazoo. Copyright dial 20. And uh, that should be cool. So let's, uh, let's get this going. So we're definitely going to want Wow, that's a lot a lot of these. I want to double check my math on how much I need. I'm going to start with 32. Cool. Um, so let's start with this one. So we want four advanced assemblies, right? Which means we need 16 calculator assemblies. Right? Cool. Perfect. Um, 
And then we need reinforced iron and that fancy gold stuff. Might have reinforced iron? We have a little bit, but we can get more. With the calculator and some regular iron. Cool. Um, so you should be like something like this. I don't know exactly how many of these I'm going to need, but I'm just going to get a bunch for now. And then, you know, let's just go with the full 32. Cool. So four of those. And then we need four of these, which needs four more calculator assemblies. So 16 more calculator assemblies. Right? And for that, we're going to need 16 large tanzanite and four iridium reinforced block. If I'm right about this, which I think I am, you can go into there and start cooking that up, right? Because we want Flawless calculator assembly needs four of these, so we need four each, so 16, right? And then four iridium reinforced. So we need 16 iridium and 16 advanced alloys. So I'll be back in a minute. I'm gonna make some of this off camera. Okay, so got some large tanzanite, got some little tanzanite, got this, 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 check times four. Yes, good. And then this, this, this gives me four atomic modules. And then I should only need an emerald, of which we should have a decent amount now because, you know, we've been mining it up uh, with that thing in the basement. And that gets me our atomic assembly. Nice. So now I need um, four sets of those and 16 sets of these again. Um, so I need. 20 more of those things, right? Um, so four more of those and 16 more of these. So that means 20 of these. Nice. Um, and then smooth stone into buttons. So we're gonna need about 20 of those. We're also gonna need some more cobble. This is expensive steel-wise, but it's not too bad, right? Um, so we'll need 64 of them, right? And then we'll need 16 of them so that we can do about 20 of those. And then we're going to turn um, four of those. And then we can do this. Nice, cool. So we've got the most expensive part of the Flawless Calculator under control. So the next thing we need to make is an end diamond in order to make the Flawless Calculator. Uh, the electric diamond comes from a fire diamond and a conductor mask. Fire diamond we can already make. The conductor mask is the next thing to make. We'll need another fireman diamond for that. So we need an energy module, which needs purified coal and two power cubes. So we're going to need those two. Boom. I was kind of ready for that. Um, and then um, to go along with that, we're going to need... Um, we're going to need two purified coal, which is enriched coal, which is coal dust and coal coke. Coal dust, clink, and coal coke, which we should have tons of. Told you I've been hoarding that stuff just a little bit, right? So coal dust and coal coke. You are done for what now? Scientific calculator uh, with enriched. Soon I won't need all these different calculators because the flawless calculator can do everything. Now is it you two? Yes, energy modules, cool. Um, and then these guys can be used to make the conductor mass. Two energy modules and a fire diamond, which is two diamonds and a blaze rod. Soon we're gonna have to consider blaze rod spawning. Um, maybe sooner than later. Fire diamond, cool. 
conductor mast. Nice. All right. So from what I know about this guy from playing with it a little bit in single player, uh, the theory is that all I should need to do, um, I'm going to put away some stuff. Everything go away for a minute. Cool. Let's put away you, you, you. That's steel. I should probably hang on to that in a different place. But reinforced iron can go in there. Looking forward to having an AE system, let me tell you. Seal can go in that chest. Let's real quick check on this guy, by the way. Are you done cooking? Totally are. You are awesome. That is really fast. It burned through a stack of iron like nobody's business. Let's cook up another stack. Just because I can. All right, um, so conductor masks, mast, uh, they generate RF, but they really generate a silly small amount of RF, if I'm being totally honest. Um, but what you can also do is get yourself a, so let's get you guys. So let's real quick check, flawless calculator needs four flawless diamonds, which are just atomic calculators with binders. So it needs a little bit of, that's not a problem though. Um, and then you also need the end diamond, which is one electric diamond, which requires one fire diamond, which we just made, which is one blaze rod, um, and two of you guys. So I'll either have to pop to the nether or build a blaze spawner one way or another. But basically, all you should have to do, and maybe I'll pop this guy on like my roof somewhere, cool. Like right, right around here would be neat. Joink, nice. And then we pop the fire diamond into the conductor mast. And what's going to happen is it's going to draw lightning strikes. I think you get more if there's currently a thunderstorm going on. But even if not, it'll um, still work. So if we give this a second, we'll see the wait time between the lightning strikes. And what will happen is the lightning strike will empower the fire diamond uh, into the electric diamond. Cool. So there we go. 60 seconds wait time. Neat. Let's come back when that's closer to zero seconds. Five seconds is close enough to zero seconds. So I think we'll see a lightning strike here. Yay. Um, wait time tomorrow. Now that'll generate RF. So we got, let's see how much we got for that. 5.6 thousand RF. So let's do, 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 do the thing. Fire diamond. So wait time just flipped to 60 seconds again, so that's good at least. I don't know how much RF is required. Does it tell me? It doesn't really tell me. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. But you can see like every 60 seconds it's generating 5,000 RF, which is a really small amount of RF per tick. There's ways to augment this, but it's not worth it. And a few seconds later we should see a lightning strike occur. Yay! Uh, and that will generate more RF for us. And the wait time likes to be a little comical. Again, not sure how much. Oh, there we go. 10,000 RF, it looks like it is. So boom, we just got ourselves an electric diamond. Sweet. So now uh, we can make ourselves an end diamond by atomic combining obsidian with end stone. So I forget where I put end stone. It's probably in here. Yes, and obsidian as well. So you guys combine to form an end diamond. So that's a lot of work, right? Now I'm gonna leave my conductor mast up there because he'll hold on to the RF that he gets. I don't know what his limit is for holding uh, approximately three RF per tick. So that's what we're getting from this conductor mask. Like I said, you can boost that with some processes, but meh. Uh, so two diamonds and four flawless diamonds. Flawless diamonds are, so I'm gonna need eight of these and four iridium. Uh, and I'm gonna need 16 of you. We might be getting to the point where we wanna start looking at getting more iridium. I'm grabbing a few extra, and I'm pretty sure for the screen, I just need one redstone and eight cobblestone. Right? Nice. All right, uh, so this guy, we're gonna need atomic binders times four. And one of these grows, I forget if it's the flawless or the end diamond that grows off that tree. But one way or another, we want to get that sapling, right? 
Um, so that's absolutely something we want to do. Cool, flawless calculator, which we can then, it already has RF because it charged off my quadruple battery, so yay for that. And uh, neat, so this guy, if you shift right click, you can switch between flawless crafting and dynamic crafting and normal crafting and storage module and energy module. And there's a bunch of empty slots that I guess aren't implemented yet or maybe I'm implemented at some point, but like storage module, if I put it in storage module mode, it's basically like a chest that I can carry around. So that's kind of neat. Normal crafting lets me craft with like, you know, just like, hey, do 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 do. Cool. Um, and then dynamic crafting is, that's a normal calculator, that's a division calculator, and that's the atomic calculator. And then finally, flawless crafting is that mode. Sweet. Um, so let's see diamond sapling, what's involved in you. So I need two end diamonds, end stone and a pear. And pear is an atomic calculator of amethyst and tanzanite and end stone. And amethyst um, sapling comes from a large amethyst and some kind of sapling. A large amethyst we can get from a stone separator lapis block. Interesting. Have we gotten any of these from what we've been doing here yet? I have gotten a large amethyst. Nice. Oh, hey, we got flawless diamonds too. Do I, I, I need end diamonds though, not flawless diamonds. So I could have saved myself probably a little bit of iridium just then, but eh, that's what I get for being a noob. So uh, we can get an amethyst sapling easily enough. That's cool. Um... But getting a tanzanite sapling requires large tanzanite atomic binder. So that's not too bad. So I can get an amethyst sapling because I got this. Uh, so what I can do is just grab any sapling. Hey, we have an amethyst sapling. Even better! Hooray! All the rejoicing. So we already have one of those. Excellent. I am pleased. We don't have the, the blue one though, right? So I feel like I should like grow an amethyst sapling and get some more saplings, ideally. I hope that they drop from the leaves. I'm gonna go ahead and assume that they do. Maybe we do that first um, and confirm it. Does that sound like a really smart idea? Give me a sec, I might wanna terraform a little bit. All right, can I grow this thing with bone meal, I hope? Yay, I can, cool, so we got an amethyst tree. Sweet, uh, let's get this guy chopped down. <laughs> uh, we'll grab Dirax. And hopefully I get more than one sapling out of this. And if I don't, I can make one, remember. So I got zero saplings out of that. Good times. Um, so maybe they don't work like normal trees. Not a big deal. Totally uh, a thing that I can deal with because all I need to do is atomic calculator this guy, right? So it's um, you, 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 we're just that and that. It's the, it's the scientific one. So let's switch you to dynamic and we're gonna make you scientific. See, easy enough. So now that we know what's involved here and uh, how that doesn't work. Hello. Neat. You are a tree. Uh, let's get the other one now. Because I'd like to have both. Um, so, so tanzanite is just large tanzanite and atomic binder. Um, and I, I wonder if there's something in the info tabs about getting the saplings from the trees. Where's that info calculator? Uh, and technically I don't have to carry around these guys anymore. I don't ever need them anymore. Um, where are the trees? Amethyst sapling. Um, cool. Oh, I see. So if I got the leaves, then we could combine them with the logs to get more saplings. Right? Um, so like log plus leaf equal, or log plus log even equal, or divided by, get you a sapling. So that's cool. That's fine. Um, and is that the same for tanzanite? 
log atomic binder leaf gets you one. Okay, cool. So the atomic binder is still the uh, expensive bit. Absolutely should look into more of it anymore. Um, I kind of want to get this wrapped. I know we're like running out of time for the episode, but I really kind of want to do this. So let's uh, algorithm separate you. Let's, so this will get us a tanzanite sapling. Um, tanzanite has its own little cool stuff that it does, but I think I want to jump right into um, having the pear sapling. So we'll get an amethyst plus tanzanite. We'll just use the tanzanite sapling right away. So you plus you plus a sapling should be cool. So you guys can go away, get ourselves a sapling. You should be done. Tanzanite is the atomic calculator. You, you, and a you. Nice, tanzanite, cool. And then pair is tanzanite plus amethyst sapling plus endstone. So that shouldn't be too bad because we've got endstone, we've got a regular sapling, we've been getting amethysts here. These are easy peasy. And we just say um, u divided by u. And then this, this, and this gets me the pear sapling. And then pear, and stone, and two end diamonds, which needs two electric diamonds. So I think we might be at the point where we need more blaze rods, like by one. Popping over to the nether, be right back. Like I said, we're going to get this sapling, and then we're going to wrap up the episode. All right, two fire diamonds. Now, ideally, you've generated enough RF that you can do this pretty easily. Check and check. And then for N diamonds, we need um, N stone and obsidian. And we can atomic calculator those guys. So you guys aren't super smart about it, but that's cool and diamonds and then end stone and the pear sapling should get me this awesome thing and that i think needs to be in flawless crafting mode so you guys and the end stone nice diamond sapling we can grab some bones let's just sag mill you up real fast super quick just in case it requires a little bit more and i'm going to take a quick nap Cool. And we, I'm gonna save a spot over here for what will be the, oh, hello creepers. I am in chunks owned by me, so you shouldn't cause any good timing. Uh, nice, let's, let's just pop it here, this'll be fine. Oh wait, these have to be planted on something. Oh, now I'm really running late on the episode. I forgot, but they have to be planted on a special type of block. Where's my info calculator? Uh, can only be planted on end diamond block. Which naturally is nine end diamonds. Guess what we're doing? Coming back next episode. For now, Devil 20 is signing off. We will get that taken care of next episode. For now, take it easy.